ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention please? Because we have a very important introduction to make one we make every Highland Days. It is an award started back when Chip Crawford was the president and he used to famously say, we're not looking back, we haven't on anything during those years. And so he began an award called the Brave Glass. Ultimately added the Brave Lad. And so we'd like to honor our Brave Lad and Lass. And to do so, I welcome your athletics announcer, who you'll get to hear all weekend doing play by play of those fantastic athletes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Ken. First of all, let's get a round of applause for all the staff here. The service so well. Very nice. Did you have enough habits? Oh, is that good or what? I had two plates full. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce someone that I have known for a long time. Now, I want to go back eight years or nine years when I first started doing the announcing. He was one of the, the most interesting athletes we ever ran into. Not only would he throw during competition, but he'd hang out along the defense line, talking to all the patrons and stopped over, answering all kinds of questions about the game, about the history. He's done a fantastic job of that. He's having some difficulties, but he's persevering straight through like every athlete will. I am so proud to call him a friend of mine. Really, really am. And his and a brother. And a brother. Definitely a brother. Also like to introduce that would be Gene Mortel, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. And Gene! And his lovely lass, who is also an athlete in the games. Yeah. And you wouldn't think that someone that looked this good could throw a favor. <laughs> It's her favorite. She loves throwing it. Yeah, toss it away. Rhonda Taylor, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Hey, you guys, come and say a few words as our honorees. Well, I, we're extremely privileged and touched that you guys would have us up like this. <laughs> Sorry, but um, we've had a pretty rough battle. And I told him I would kill him if he died, so he has to stick around. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> it's uh, an incredible honor. My, uh, my thing with cancer started eight, weeks, uh, eight months ago, and I thought I had it. And the doctors went, like, nope. And then they go, you have the most aggressive form of cancer going. And I'm like, that's okay, I'm more aggressive. Yep. Um, being an idiot, coming Come back that, like Dr. Fenton here, and being an athlete, and if you ain't got a freight train, you're not stopping up. You're not stopping the highway. So I very, I greatly appreciate it on both of us' behalf. Thank you so much. We are very honored.